welcome back to my channel. This week's video is all about our messy play with rice. I might turn this into a little bit of a series because we do enjoy our messy play. Oscar's off. Um, so this week's video is all about rice and I'm gonna show you how to color rice if that's something that you wanna do as well or just how to use it as is. Rice is, don't touch the camera baby. <laughs> rice is um, so cheap. So um, it's a great medium for messy play. And also, although it can like go everywhere, it isn't really messy insofar as it's not like paint or, I don't know, mud, um, where it, you know, it's gonna ruin their clothes. Rice easily swept up. And um, yeah, Oscar actually enjoys tidying up at the moment, so long live that. So um, messy play, although fun, is also really great for your child's development. Physically, it is helping with their fine motor skills, so all those kind of pouring and shaking, and especially with rice, trying to pick up individual grains, is really good for their physical development. Cognitive development um, as well, for their problem solving skills. I shall show you in an activity where we do kind of pouring into cylinders and working out if you pour it, how does it come down, and uh, understanding cause and effect as well. So if I do this, what happens? And importantly, language development as well. Learning all those words about uh, substances like gooey or sticky or rough. Um, lap, shake it loud, shake it quietly when you've got rice. So all of that language development is also really important. And particularly, um, not so much Oscar at the moment, but it is all helping pre-writing skills. So all that kind of pincer grip and grasping is all helping for their eventual pencil grip later on. So... He's coming back with his broom. <laughs> Come and show your broom. Come and show. Come and show. So here he is with his broom. <laughs> he heard me say sweeping. So he was getting ready. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy these ways that you can use rice as part of your messy plate at home. Small world play is basically when you create a miniature version of part of the world in a bucket or container. So I have uh, created here with blue coloured rice a underwater scene for Oscar using uh, dolphins and sharks and whales and things. So if this is something you'd like to do, you will need to probably colour your rice. And to do that, you only need really simple ingredients, rice, white vinegar, food colouring, and you can also add some essential oils if you want to add to the sensory experience. So I am making a triple batch, so I'm using three cups of rice, but if you want to make a single batch, you just use one cup of rice. So in goes three cups of rice, and then three tablespoons of vinegar. So again, if you're only doing a single batch, it would only be one tablespoon of vinegar. Next, you just add a few drops of your chosen food colouring, and I'm also adding a few drops of lavender essential oil to add to our experience. And then you just give it a massive mix until your food colouring is evenly distributed. Then pop it into some kind of container and spread it out so that it can dry. I'm in Dubai, so I literally put it in our spare room where it is like an oven, and it dries really quick. And then you just add in all the extra bits that make it into a little small world. You could also do this green and have it as grass and have your farmyard animals. You could do um, rainbow mix. Um, you could do, you know, sand, yellow, yellow rice, and then blue sea, all up to you. Create your own little world. Puzzle Hunt is actually a really good activity for all ages. I'm using a real chunky piece puzzle for Oscar at 14 months, but it could be more complicated if you have an older child. You just bury the pieces in the rice and they have to dig around to try and solve the puzzle by finding all the pieces. Oscar really, really loves this. It's like a little treasure hunt trying to find all the pieces. He's not quite at the stage yet where he can put puzzle pieces together, but he's just beginning to learn how to kind of match them. So this puzzle is really great. I will link it down below if you have a similar age child. He's also very into vehicles at the moment, so that appeals to him as well. So he's um, just beginning to be able to kind of match the pictures, not necessarily get them in the right space. Let's 
Scooping and pouring is really good for supporting your child's hand and eye coordination, and it's so simple to set up. All you need is something in your kitchen that has little compartments. I'm using a muffin tin, but equally you could use um, little lunch boxes or Tupperware containers, and some scoops or spoons. I'll link these wooden scoops um, in the description box below if you're interested. And yeah, Oscar spends a lot of time just scooping rice into the sections and then pouring it out. It's a great activity, but it does get a bit messy, but we are learning to sweep, so that helps. Oscar is currently 14 months, as you may know, and vehicles are a little bit of an obsession at the moment. So I frequently do this construction site. Um, I do not have a tough tray. If you don't know what a tough tray is, I'll link one below. <laughs> but um, they are perfect for messy play. I have not got the budget at the moment to buy one, but I have done a makeshift long tray out of three um, cardboard box lids, which is working perfectly well. I've just kind of sellotaped it so that the rice can't escape down the holes and then filled it with rice and all of his kind of diggers and construction vehicles and he can spend a long time in there just messing about with the rice and loading it into his trucks. This is such a simple activity and all you need is a cardboard box and some funnels which you probably will already have around your house. If not, you can get them very cheaply online. I'll link some below. You just put a a kind of tough piece of cardboard across your open cardboard box because they are going to lean on it. Put some holes in it and poke your funnels through. I've also just put some general holes in it because he likes kind of scooping and sliding the rice into the holes as well. And then give them some scoops and they can put the rice into the scoop and pour it down one of the funnels. And that is just so exciting. Oscar also likes going underneath and watching it come through as I pour it. Tubes and shoots is another real easy activity to set up and just involves you raiding your recycling bin. Get some cardboard tubes and pots and use some um, tape. It's probably easier to use masking tape because then you can move it if it doesn't quite work out. And yeah, just make some tubes and some shoots for the rice to go down. You might need to test it out and check that it is actually going to work. If you've got older children, they could actually make this for your younger children and then show your child what to do and let them watch and observe as they get a bit more confident they will also try to do it. Oscar is still not exactly the most accurate at doing this but he enjoys watching um, the rice cascading down and this cause and effect is just fascinating for him so the more we do it the more and more intrigued he actually gets and the longer he plays with it. You can get these little tiny um, coloured magnet counters. They've got metal edges, which is what magnetises them, and magnetic wand. I'll link it down below. It's really not that expensive and can be used for lots of different activities, so it's kind of a good investment. I just sprinkle it over some rice. If your children are older, you could actually like completely bury it so that they, they couldn't see them as well. And then he waves his little wand over the top and they magically stick. He finds this fascinating. Just be sure that you uh, watch them closely if you've got younger children so that they don't pop these in their mouth because they are quite small. But he is absolutely fascinated by this activity. Um. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of this week's video all about rice and our messy play. I hope you've um. enjoyed it. Yes, rice. Um, if you also use rice for your messy play and have any other great ideas, we would love to know. So put them in the comments down below. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do that so that you are notified when I post another video. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye!